everyone, welcome back to my channel. Last week I showed you how I made my harness for Imogen Temmel, and this week I'm going to show you how I made the rest of the accessories and outfit. I'll start by very quickly going over the basic clothing pieces of the cosplay, the dress and vest. I started with the vest. I used this Janet vest pattern from Mood Fabrics. You can download it for free. I printed out the pattern, taped it together, and cut it out. It's not the perfect shape, I don't want it to have a collar, and I won't need to sew the welt pockets. So I made those changes and finished up the vest. It's made out of an off-white linen and lined with duck canvas to keep it stiff. Here's the vest. It wasn't that exciting to watch me make, so I didn't film with most of it. it all I did was remove the collar, um, make it a little bit shorter, and um, yeah, just try and make sure it was extra fitted. Next, I'm going to work on the dress, and I already have the fabric. This is the fabric I'm going to be using for the dress. You can kind of see the gradient better if I scrunch it up. Um, but the plan is to have the light blue be the top and bottom of the dress, and it gradiate into the dark color towards the middle. This entire two yard piece is going to be used as the skirt. I'm basically going to cut it right when it starts turning dark blue again and gather it up. And this will be the start of my skirt. Next, I made a very basic wrap dress, like too basic. I drafted the top on my dress form using some fabric that was a similar weight. Then I transferred that draped pattern onto paper. I used two yards for the skirt and another three for the dress top. And here's the finished dress. I, it was mostly trial and error and it, I wouldn't say it fits well because as you can see, this is very baggy and I also sewed the waistband on inside out. But since this all goes under the vest, and this flippy collar is all that matters. It works. My favorite part of the skirt for sure is the gradient um, and how that also continues onto the lower parts of the sleeves. I think it looks really cool. Now we'll move on to the more fun parts, the accessories. Starting with her gloves. I used a stretch suede, folded it in half, and traced my hand onto the fabric. The gloves only cover the middle three fingers, so I skipped the pinky and my thumb. Then I stitched around the marker line and cut out the glove. Then I flipped the glove inside out. Her gloves go further down her wrist, so I made a removable cuff using an old pair of stretch leather pants. I cut out a square of the pleather and then added the waistband of the pants for the strap and added a buckle. Then I sewed on some snaps so I can easily take the cuffs on and off while also keeping the gloves tight around my wrist. Then I 3D printed and finished Imogen's leg knife. You can see how I painted and finished it on my Instagram and my TikTok. Only a few pieces left. The first one is this very basic round bottom drawstring pouch. I made it out of the same faux leather as the harness. stitch some waxed linen cord onto the outside of it to match the reference photo. I also put a piece of craft foam in the bottom to keep it from being too floppy. Now to make a holster for the knife. I folded my leather in half and traced the knife and added some seam allowance. I cut it out and added more decorative stitching to the front part.
Then I sewed the knife holster and flipped it inside out. To make it match the harness straps, I also top stitched the edges and it fits the knife perfectly. Imogen has a leg harness and I attached it to a pair of dance tights so I don't have to worry about it falling down. I sewed one inch strips of faux leather and wrapped them around my leg and cut them to size. I held up the knife holster to measure the distance between them and then I took a curved sewing needle and just hand stitched the leather strips to the tights. The curved sewing needle prevented me from poking my skin with the needle and I would highly recommend it. I finished up the front of the straps and just put the tights on backwards to reach the back parts of the harness. Then I just hand stitched the knife holster to the leg harness. Finally, I used a rivet to attach a smaller strap over the handle of the knife to match the character artwork. It's not in her character artwork, but I wanted to add in her circlet of the hidden eye. So I bought a super cheap wire circlet and used wire cutters to snip off the gem. I've had this pinky red gem in my craft stash for years and years and I'm so glad I'm using it. I just hot glued it to the empty space the old gem left and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this cosplay work log. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or find me on Instagram, TikTok, and threads. See you next time. Bye!